San Diego is expected to receive up to 400 Syrian refugees of the estimated 10,000 headed to the U.S. President Obama addressed concerns about Syrian refugees in his speech this morning. We also have to remember that many of these refugees are the victims of terrorism themselves. That's what they're fleeing. Slamming the door in their faces would be a betrayal of our values. Our nations can welcome refugees who are desperately seeking safety and ensure our own security. We can and must do both. Joining me is Hanif Mohebi, Executive Director of San Diego's CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations. And Hanif, what kind of backlash do Muslims in San Diego face when there's been a terrorist attack like the one in Paris? Before I start, want to say that it was a despicable act. It is an act that we condemn very strongly, and our hearts and minds are with the people in France and all over the world, uh, people and victims of terrorism. As far as the backlash is concerned, we get emails, uh, threats, uh, and, and some of those threats, uh, unfortunately, sometimes uh, can uh, go to the level of, of physical violence. Uh, we've had uh, in the past. Uh, so just this year, for example, uh, we've had over 45 uh, hate mail and threats that have been reported, and some of them have gotten to the uh, level of physical violence and others criminal acts. But I want to focus that today we want to make sure that we are condemning terrorism and nothing else. Uh, understood. But in his speech today, President Obama uh, talked about the difference of ideologies between the terrorist group ISIS and traditional Islam. Uh, but he also said, and this is him, saying that th there has not been enough pushback by Muslim leaders against extremism. What is your response to the president's comment? So first we want to thank President Obama for distinguishing between essentially uh, the religion and terrorists. It's very important for us to do that. On his second point, uh, I think uh, our community has been doing uh, great work on this, but we the institutions and the, the government needs to make sure that they work with the right grassroots uh, individuals and communities in order to bring about a better result. So Muslim Americans have been speaking out very loudly, but have we been heard? That's a question that needs to be uh, asked. And also, who are the, the, the uh, administration working with? Is it working with specific chosen leaders, uh, or uh, is it the the representative of the communities. Who would you like to see then in the communities maybe uh, that haven't been uh, spoken to or addressed as much as you think so, they should So be? I think, for example, let's talk about countering uh, violent extremism in a, a program that the government is, is trying to push. Um, we have come out, as well as many other uh, majority of uh, Muslim leaders have come out saying uh, this is unconstitutional, this is wrong, we still want to work against terrorism. Why don't you, instead of giving us a, 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 a script of what to do, why don't you work with us in order to come up with strategies to get out of this misery that we're all in? And speaking of working together, we've talked with you many times. You've been on many other news yes. shows talking about the perceptions of Muslims in this country and abroad, especially when something like this happens. What should San Diegans be asking uh, or Americans, I should say, even when it comes to terrorists? I think we need to understand what, first of all, who are the terrorists? So terrorism has no religion whatsoever. Criminals are criminals. We need to understand that. We need to hold them accountable for, and we need to unite against that. So first and foremost, we need to define terrorism, who are they, and then go from there. All right, Hanif Mohebi, thank you so much. Thank you very much.